Hi, sweet friends. Happy Monday. We are going to start the week with our two stories from Belgium. The first is going to be Ricky, and then tomorrow we'll read The Truth About Dinosaurs. All right, so Ricky, written and illustrated by Guido von Gechten. Genshten? You know my mom's from Belgium. That doesn't mean I'm very good at saying names. <laughs> All right, but the book is Ricky. And if you remember, this is one of the books that almost all the kids in Belgium have read. And there's there's a series about it. They're very, it, just like in America, we have books that all kids read and love. That's what Ricky is in Belgium. Kind of like a Gerald and Piggy or a Dr. Seuss. They're very, very well known and all the kids love them. So here is Ricky. There are fat rabbits and skinny rabbits, tall rabbits and short rabbits, smart rabbits and silly rabbits, clean rabbits and dirty rabbits, girl rabbits and boy rabbits, and they all have two long ears. Ricky also has two long ears. Only... Ricky's ears are different. Rabbit ears are supposed to stand up straight, both of them. But Ricky's right ear hangs down. Lop ear, the other rabbits called him. Flop ear, put your ear upright like ours. Two straight ears. There was nothing that Ricky wanted more. But how could he get them? When he hung upside down from a tree branch, his ears stood straight. But he couldn't hang upside down from a tree branch his entire life. He tried hiding his ears under his grandmother's tea cozy. And a tea cozy is something that's been knitted or crocheted. So it's made out of yarn and you put it over your teapot to keep your tea warm. It's not something we see very often, but Ricky has one. The other rabbits just laughed. Never before had they seen something so funny. Fortunately, Ricky couldn't hear them, but somehow it still hurt his feelings. He tried to put a carrot inside his floppy ear, but the other rabbits still laughed. Can I nibble your ear? One rabbit asked. He tried using a string and a twig, but the other rabbits laughed even harder. Poor Ricky. He tried wrapping his floppy ear in bandages. He tried using his dad's fishing rod and a clothespin. That is a very creative. Doesn't look like it feels very good though. Poor guy. Finally, he tried using a balloon. The other rabbits rolled on the ground laughing. Poor Ricky. Nothing worked. I never want to see those mean rabbits again, Ricky shouted angrily at the trees. I'll just get rid of this awful ear. His ear seemed more floppy than ever. Maybe I should go to the doctor, he said between sobs. The doctor examined Ricky's ear inside and out. He measured it and weighed it and made Ricky listen to all kinds of strange beeping sounds. He jotted down the results. Hmm, he finally said. There is nothing wrong with that ear of yours. It lacks some firmness, but it can hear like the best of them. And besides, all ears are different. Here, have a sweet carrot. It's like when you go to the doctor and maybe you get a lollipop. Ricky gets a carrot. <laughs> 
On his way home, Ricky pondered everything the doctor had said. It was true. All ears are different. Mom had sweet ears and Dad had strong ears. Grandpa had clever ears and Grandma had soft ears. And I, Ricky thought, I've got two different ears, one straight and one that hangs down. He had to laugh about him himself. One up, one down. Here comes Ricky, shouted a little rabbit excitedly. <laughs> Hello, Ricky, the biggest rabbit said. It's nice to have you back. It was so boring without you. Do you have any more tricks to show us with your ear? Well, yes, I do, Ricky said. I actually know a very good one. Good one. Meet me at the hill tomorrow and bring two sweet carrots and a piece of string. Everybody place a carrot in front of you and tie the other carrot to your ear. Here, I'll show you. Now you've got it, one up, one down. And all the rabbits had a good laugh. Never before had they had so much fun together, and never before had they all looked the same. And that is the end of Ricky. I hope you liked it. I will be back tomorrow with another book from Belgium. All right, kiddos, I will talk to you soon. See you later, alligators.